Ecamm is my favorite video creation tool. And one of the reasons is because you can program different scenes to switch between while you're live streaming or recording videos. This makes my live stream so much more dynamic and it saves me so much time while I'm editing pre-recorded videos because I do a lot of screen shares and instead of having to sync two different files, I could do it all in one take. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to create scenes and Ecamm. And if you haven't given Ecamm a try, check out the link in the description underneath this video to get started and and let's get into it. So when you open up Ecamm, this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna see a bunch of little windows here and the output window. And today I'm gonna walk you through creating two of the most basic scenes that you're probably gonna need when you're using Ecamm. One is a default scene, which is a default, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. And then we're gonna do a screen sharing scene as well. So first for the default, uh, click on this plus sign here under scenes. And if you don't see your scenes window for some reason, uh, head on over to window and then you can pull up your scenes this way. But we're gonna click the plus sign and that's going to allow us to create a new scene. Uh, for this, I'm gonna call it test default. And when you create a new scene in Ecamm, the default source is going to be your main camera, but I'm actually going to encourage you to change it to a blank canvas because when you are, well, let me add my camera. So let's jump into overlays and then we are going to click add a camera. And then because this is a default scene, we're basically going to have it as if the whole canvas was taken up by the camera. So it's going to look like this. But the reason why I say to do this is because if you are ever going to have a scene where you have a background or different overlays and stuff like that, obviously you don't want the source to be the camera because you want something behind it, which is why I suggest always starting with a blank canvas, even if you are going to only have like one overlay, which is your main camera on top of that. So this is the main scene. The other thing that I would recommend is to actually add in uh, a rule of thirds overlay. So I can actually show you how to add overlays into this default scene. So head on over to your overlays tab, and then you're gonna click on this icon right here, which is a new image overlay. And I'm going to pull up my rule of thirds guide here. If I can find it, bam, 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 here it is. Okay, so this is just a PNG that has my screen broken up into roll thirds because sometimes this chair slides around a lot and then like I'm off center, which really, really bugs me. So I just have that um, as a guideline before I record or go live. And as you can see here, it says show in current scene. And this is where you can see the file that's here. And then also um, because it, this file is on top of the cam link file, that's whatever's on top is whatever's on top in terms of layers, right? So if I switch it, the rule of thirds is still there. It's just behind this, right? All right, so if you ever wanna hide anything, you can like, obviously I don't have the rule of thirds on when I'm recording. So you just click on this eye icon and that makes it hide. You can also lock uh, an overlay. So that's really helpful, especially if you're having to like click and move things around. You don't wanna have to accidentally do this while you're streaming. So uh, once you've got your camera or whatever it is, exactly where you want it to be. Make sure to hit the lock icon so that you don't um, end up moving that. And that's pretty much it for a default screen. Now let's create a screen share screen. So basically what I want is I want to be able to share my screen and also have the camera in the bottom right corner. So we're gonna go ahead back to the screen scenes window. We're gonna click that plus icon. I'm going to title this test uh, screen share ohm and to make sure that we are running that scene, you can hover over your output window and it'll tell you what scene that you're on. When you click on the preview of the scene, that's what runs the scene. You can also hover over this and then switch scenes here. So uh, again, for this scene, we are going to start with a blank canvas. So we're gonna change the source to be blank. And because for this, this is to add a camera overlay. Um, for this one, I want, myself to be a round circle in the bottom right corner. So I'm going to click on this uh, pencil icon right here and we've already selected the right camera and I'm gonna change this to round. And I'm just gonna position myself right here. And then as the background, you could actually just click this icon and that will share your screen. 
And right now it's just sharing my desktop. But if I had, let's, here's my Canva thumbnail I'm currently making. I can switch this to Google Chrome. Oh, it's already doing that. Yeah. So uh, there you go. That's how easy it is. So basically if I wanted to go from default screen, this, hi, what's up? I'm about to do screen share. Then I'm going to run the next scene and bam, we're here doing the screen share. If you want to edit this window, because like right now, there's, you can see my skateboard and stuff. You can head on over to the camera effects window. We're gonna check this box right here, which is the zoom and pan window. And this will help us be able to adjust, woo, adjust the crop and zoom in. You can also adjust like uh, the picture settings and, and all of that specifically for this uh, scene. So that's really helpful. Um, and that's it. So if you haven't heard of Ecamm yet, you can check out this video next where I do an overview of how Ecamm works in my workflow for live streams, client meetings, and pre-recorded videos. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in this video next.